I do want to change gear a little and take a, a question from the audience that I can see on the whiteboard uh, concerning the Resource Management Act. What is your position on it? Is it achieving adequate protection for the environment? Sure, so can I just make it clear? So the RMA is a set of declarations and threats written on paper. That's all it is. It doesn't have a system reference. And when you have a consumption waste system that requires higher and higher levels of consumption extracted from the planet to remain operational, to keep people employed and all that, then the only thing that, that, that can happen, especially with the permit fraud requirements, um, basically, because yeah, that's another problem that, that's added into this that accelerates the problem, is that basically the only thing that can happen, regardless of what you write on that piece of paper, whatever threats or declarations as you put, the only thing that can happen is everything is cumulatively destroyed, predictably. That's the problem here. It's all going to be destroyed, and it's going to be done so predictably. All is predictable once the cancer system is diagnosed, and that's the problem here, is that the acknowledgement of the system change that is required for our future is not being addressed at this level. Okay, thank you, Scott. Um, we are nearing the end. There's one question on the board that I want to uh, leave as a final one. So um, in previous episodes of Palmerston North Decides, we have asked candidates to reference a policy uh, or a particular ideal that they would like you to think of uh, when you're casting your vote with regards to today's topic. Uh, so with regards to environment and infrastructure, which is large, so you, you should have a swathe of ideas to choose from. Uh, but we did group these together because they are interlinked, particularly when you think about things like public transport. Uh, but if we could just go through each candidate in turn uh, and give us, a, as I say, an ideal or a policy outline in the, the vein of this topic that people can consider and also where to find out more about it. Uh, we'll start with Scott. Yeah, sure. So the intelligent management of the Earth's resources precedes any of our wants. Um, and unfortunately the system conflates needs with wants and consumption with progress. So basically what I'm talking about here and what Money Free Party proposes, which is a global political movement, and this is, this is the political aspect of it, is we propose a system that's actually capable of supporting us going forward. A new social system that actually manages the intelligent, has the intelligent management of the resources as the core priority which is what a real society is, because we can't survive unless we have the resources managed intelligently, right? So anyway, you can learn more about that on our website, moneyfreeparty.org.nz, and on my website, scottandrew.life. All the predictions that are ahead, if uh, this system change is not addressed and instituted as soon as possible, are all laid out, um, and you can mark my words on that. Thank you. Thank you.